All right, guys, so today I have to do a video response to Razor Fist. Oh, yeah, he has called me out. It seems that for the past four years, a burning has been within his soul to finally pwn the king of YouTube, Ashen Muzo. All right, not quite, but he has screen capped a comment that I left on an old video of his to make a point in his latest upload. And uh, it's about VR. Now, four years ago, Razor Fist made a prediction that VR would just be a gimmick, a flash in the pan, a failure. And I left a comment kind of disagreeing with that. And uh, he's used that comment in his latest video to make a point. And here's the comment. So the comment I left that he has screen capped and used in his new video is, you are objectively wrong. The rift is awesome. I've played on it. It's fucking ace. So yeah. This was four years ago when the uh, development kit one was out. It's a very basic version of the Oculus Rift headset. But even at that stage, I could see the potential and I thought it was really fun and impressive piece of kit. And um, yeah, I left that comment. It was supposed to be kind of humorous. Obviously, you can't be objectively wrong about something that's a, an opinion based on preference. But there was another part to that comment that he didn't show. Now, I'm going to now show you the rest of that comment. He only screen capped half of it. So this is the rest of the comment. If you want to uh, pause it, you can, but I shall read it out in a second anyway. Uh, so yeah, you are objectively wrong, the Rift is awesome, I've played on it, it's fucking ace. But Kinect sucks, for real. I mean, I don't think the Rift will replace stuff, it's not the future of gaming, but it will be a fun fucking thing to do in the future, one of many options in gaming. So yeah, I was saying, you know, I don't think it's going to replace gaming, I don't think you need to hold that as the metric for its success. You know, it can be a niche that has legs, and that's what I think it is. I think it's a really unique, uh, exciting piece of tech that has a lot of uh, experiences that you just cannot get any other way. Um, and it's been, it's, been a, it's been a hotbed of invention with games as well. You know, I was starting to get a little bit, feel a little bit stale with games, and uh, VR has certainly reinvigorated my love of, of, of gaming. Um, you know, I got to the point where I was writing off the new generation of consoles, and I was just going to work my way through the old back catalogue, which would have been appealing. This, that back catalogue is still there because of VR. Because I jumped on board, got a PS4 Pro and the VR headset, and almost all of my gaming has been VR now. Um, yeah, but anyway, it doesn't need to take over and become the mainstream for it to be deemed a success. I don't know why Razor Fist is putting that down as the metric for success. I mean, Razor Fist is kind of an alternative dude, a kind of counterculture guy. Uh, so it seems a little bit weird that his metric is whether it sells well or not, whether it goes mainstream. I don't know, that doesn't seem to fit well, but um, yeah, he goes on for most of the video about the sales figures not matching up to initial predictions. Now, I don't think that's really news. I think that most companies are gonna aim high and hope to sell a lot, you know? And if they don't then meet those targets, is it really news that they don't come out shouting about it? Does anybody expect Oculus Rift to start coming out going, oh no, we haven't sold as many as we wanted to, it's a failure, jump ship, VR is, is, is rubbish, ah! No one's gonna do that. Why would they do that? It doesn't make any sense to do that. But he spends most of the video going on about this, that this is some crazy hypocrisy that, uh, you know, they crowed about predicted sales figures and then kept quiet when they didn't meet those sales figures. It's not news, but uh, yeah, um, again, I just think that this is a premature elucidation on Razor Fist's part. This is the first wave of VR tech. It's too early to be calling it a failure based on the sales figures that we've seen so far. You know, the first wave of tech. So you've got wires everywhere. You've got a relatively low resolution compared to what a lot of people expected, at least. Um, you know, uh, it's expensive. There's a lot of set that you've got cameras. You have to have a dedicated space. You have new controllers. You need a really powerful PC if you're doing it on PC. Um, yeah, there's, there's various hurdles. You know, it's not for everyone, especially at this early stage. Um, but I just think it's a bit early to be writing it off as a failure because they haven't met their initial hoped for sales figures. Um, I think that in a few years time when we start to see wireless headsets, better resolutions, uh, you know, bigger budgets for the games, uh, more convenient tech and cheaper tech, I think then we can start to really assess how well VR is going to do in the long term. You know, I think it's too early to be uh, starting doing a little happy dance like you did at the end of the video, declaring VR a failure. It's just too early. 
The first TV sets, well, the first TV was invented in 1897. The first home TV sets were produced in, in the 1920s, I do believe. Um, but TV didn't really take off until the 50s. And people can pick me up on the numbers there. But basically, there was a good 25 years between the TV initially being available and it being a success. So, you know, I don't think anyone would have written off... If you'd have tried to write off the TV as a failure in 1930, I don't think that claim would have held much weight. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, of course, TV is a mainstream thing. It's a lot easier to consume than VR. It's a lot more accessible, um, a lot more convenient. So I'm not trying to make that comparison. I'm just saying the, the introduction of new technology doesn't always... You know, it's not a success overnight always. Uh, I just, yeah, so, so yeah, I just think he's, he's jumped the gun a little bit with this, uh, with, with this uh, celebration of his prediction becoming true that VR is going to be a failure, a fad, a gimmick. I don't think you can really call it a gimmick when you've got, you know, entire companies set up specifically that are only making games and content for VR. You know, you've got dozens of YouTube channels, just as, as an indicator of people's uh, enthusiasm for it. You've got dozens of YouTube channels dedicated to VR gaming. Did that ever happen with Kinect or other, other things that you might call a, a, a gimmick? I don't think so. I don't think you can put it in the same category. It is niche. It's not going to replace gaming on a TV screen. It's just not. Like I said, it's too awkward at the minute. It's too expensive. You know, you have to get up out of your chair a lot of the time. Imagine that. Imagine standing up to play video games. It's a different thing. It's its own beast. But it's a niche that has legs and a lot of potential. And the tech's only just getting started. So this is what I'm saying. I don't think it's too early for him to be saying this. And to just base it on the failure to meet predicted sale figures, I think it's a really weak argument to make to say that VR has failed because of that. You know? Um, the PSVR has sold over 2 million units now. And uh, I believe that the, the, the sale of games... Is, is very high is, is, is very doing very well considering the number of units sold um so yeah but it's it's growing it's getting there i fucking love it and uh, it is ace and razor fist you are objectively wrong vr is here to stay that's it guys anyway i'll see you in the next video bye bye